Have you ever wondered how it is that astronomers can look back in time and see the Big Bang? When I first heard this, I became suspicious. Yes, I know that when you look through a telescope at things far away, you're seeing them as they were long ago. But I couldn't see how you could possibly look all the way back to the Big Bang. Let's say this is the universe right at the Big Bang. Everything that will later become you and me is in here. And out here is the light moving away from us. The light's been moving for 14 billion years. To see the Big Bang, you need to be 14 billion light years away from where the Big Bang took place. How could we get to that place before the light did? I wondered about this for years. I'd heard that if you went far enough in a straight line, you'd end up back where you started from. So I figured when they're talking about seeing the Big Bang, they meant they were seeing the light after it had gone all the way around. Well, I did a little research, and here's what I discovered. Light travels around one foot per nanosecond. When you look at a clock on the wall 10 feet away, you're actually seeing it as it was 10 nanoseconds in the past. It takes about eight minutes for the light to get to us from the sun. So if the sun were to go out, we wouldn't know about it for eight minutes. Using large telescopes, astronomers can look back and see the first galaxy forming billions of years ago but they cannot look back all the way to see the Big Bang. They can look back, though, when things were just 0. .00004 billion years old, or 400,000 years after the Big Bang. The universe made a significant transformation at that time, and I'll get to that in a bit. So that's the first key to solving the problem of how we can see the Big Bang. We cannot see the Big Bang. The second key is that the universe expanded to be larger than today's observable universe in much less than one nanosecond. This is what happened according to the current inflationary hot Big Bang theory. So if you ignore the first nanosecond of the universe's life, it's safe to conclude that the universe was always big. Just before the transformation, everything was plasma. Plasma is a state of matter like solid, liquid, and gas. Heating a solid, you may get a liquid. Heating it further, you get gas. And heating it more still, and you get plasma. In plasma, the atoms are so hot that they're colliding so hard and so often that the negatively charged electrons are continually being torn away from the positively charged nuclei. Light scatters off of charged particles. And in plasma, all the particles are charged. The surface of the sun is plasma. So imagine the entire universe filled solidly with the plasma, like on the surface of the sun. It was at this time, about 400,000 years after the Big Bang, when the universe cooled enough that the plasma would become a gas. As a gas, the universe was now transparent, and the photons could begin traveling in straight paths. To try to understand this, we're going to pretend that the universe went from opaque to transparent in an instant, you were there and you were Superman, so you don't have to worry about being destroyed by all the heat and there being no oxygen. Just before the universe became transparent, you couldn't even see your hand in front of you. 10 nanoseconds after the universe became transparent, you could see your hand and out to about 10 feet. It would look like you were inside of a sphere with a radius of 10 feet, the wall of that sphere being the bright universe as you look back 10 nanoseconds into the past. Today, it looks like we're inside of a sphere with a radius of 14 billion light years. The wall of the sphere is the bright universe as we look back 14 billion years ago. One other thing happened, though. During that time, the universe has expanded more. This caused the wavelength of those photons to increase and their frequency to decrease. The visible light has been shifted down into the microwave radio frequency. This is what cosmologists call the cosmic microwave background radiation. When they point their microwave radio antennas into the sky, they see the same thing no matter where they look. In summary, we cannot look back all the way to see the Big Bang. But we can see the universe when it was just 400,000 years old by looking in the microwave radio frequency. At that time, the universe transitioned from being a plasma to a gas and had already expanded to be larger than today's observable universe. The light from the plasma 
has been redshifted down into the microwave radio frequency due to the expansion of space since that time.